<laughs> All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today we are taking on the newest stage of the Infinite Dragon Ball History event which I believe is themed around the Future Trunks slash Zamasu arc from Dragon Ball Super and I'm pretty sure there are like some missions you can complete by bringing specific characters to this event but for the purpose of today's video and for our first attempt I'm just going to bring my best available team, which of course is the Kamehameha team. As you can see, it's pretty damn solid. So as far as items go, I think I usually bring a Princess Snake and Android 8, which should be fine. I mean, ideally, we won't have to use any items at all, but just in case, I'll bring these two. And without further ado, let's jump in and see how difficult this new stage is so we're starting here with a base trunks I believe we also will be fighting uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, um, Zamasu of course, Goku Black, Rose and Zamasu at some point so uh, should be fun so first rotation we have the two three year LRs I think I'll actually keep them together for now um, hopefully in the first stage trunks doesn't hit us too hard because we do have type advantage, or type disadvantage rather, with the LR Gogeta. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Okay, here we go guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you have attempted this event uh, as well. How did it go? What team did you bring to beat it? Um, the Kamehameha team is kind of a cheat code I think for almost any event in the game. Like, it's, it's gonna be pretty hard to lose if you bring a solid Kamehameha team, especially in this instance where I have the rainbowed uh, LR Gohan, I have the rainbowed LR Gogeta, uh, I think my Vegito has one dupe. I think it has one dupe, or was it two? No, one dupe. Yeah, so one dupe in the Vegito, four dupes, rainbowed Gogeta. So we should be okay. We should be okay. Now, honestly, I would bring like a Future Saga team, but I'm not super confident in my Future Saga team at the moment. And, uh, you know, most of my other teams in this game are a little bit iffy. Like, if you guys don't know, I am a global main. I usually play the global side, but with the five year anniversary, I've started to you know, just pay more attention to my JP account a lot more. Did a lot of summons over the past couple of weeks. And, you know, I, I've got some good teams, especially this team, but there's still like a lot of work to be done, a lot of units. I gotta awaken, so that's why I'm not bringing any other teams. I mean, I have a pretty decent transformation boost team, but it's a lot of the same characters. And uh, Realm of Gods is actually looking pretty damn solid too. But of course, with the LR Gogeta and LR Vegito too. So it's like different teams, but basically still the same units. All right, going back to this event now, uh, we are now on the Int Goku Black. And can we actually super with anybody uh i mean we, we can't super with the vegito but we can at least get a super off with vegito did i say vegito again gogeta and trunks or sorry gohan can super us. man why am i mixing all the names up right now what is going on i don't really know don't mind me just pay attention to the gameplay all right i'm just all over the place right now all over the place okay here we go goku black stage um, doing good damage with Gogeta, obviously, and man, it's actually going pretty well. I mean, to be fair, there's still six more stages to go, so I shouldn't get too confident. Definitely shouldn't get too confident. Oh, by the way, I'm curious, I already said this in the last video I put out, but if you guys didn't see it yet, um, let me know what you guys got for your 55 ticket unit multi, because I personally, you know, it got some stuff. I know I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna spoil it. Go check out the video if you haven't seen it yet. But um, I know that the results have been very, you know, it's varied a lot depending on who I'm talking to. Because some people are like super, super happy with their results. You know, they're like, yo, I got everything I wanted. I got like um, three LRs or whatever. I got like Kaelin Khalifla. I got Broly, a uh, Tech Broly, or. Uh, just something else you know something really really exciting and then other people are like yo i got absolute garbage up until the guaranteed lr and then the guaranteed lr was like something i didn't want either so you know it, it really really depends on how lucky you got but at the end of the day i just want to make it clear that like 
it's still a free LR regardless of what you got, right? Damn, yo, look at Gogeta putting in work, man. We got the additional attack and an additional super too. Basically took out Goku Black by himself. I love these units so much, guys. I love these units so much. And this is just the beginning because they get stronger as uh, the event goes on, as they put out more attacks. So every single time they attack, I think it's attack and defense plus 7%, right? So um, yeah, we haven't seen anything yet from both of the LRs. And they're gonna stay blue for the entire time, which is awesome too. Like, you know, there's some units out there that have limited transformations, like they, you know, are really OP, but only transform for a couple turns. Not this guy, right? They, or these two guys, they stay blue for the entire time and they just keep building attack and keep getting stronger keep getting more OP. Yo, I love it. <laughs> I love it, man. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys got. Definitely curious about that. Whoa. Wait, who took that attack? How much? We just took like 200. Was that Gogeta? Dude, that's crazy, man. I did not expect to take that much damage um, this early. But that's okay, we're still alive. Very much still alive. Um, I did not realize that he actually locks our rotation at this point, so that's actually really annoying because I wanted to keep the two LRs together. Or, I mean, it's a bunch of LRs, but you know what I mean? Like the two blue LRs. And damn, dude, he is actually doing so much damage to us right now. Like, Gohan has about 150k defense. It should be higher now, maybe like 170, 180. But. What? Yo, are we gonna die here? Are we legit gonna die here? We have 20k. We have 20k HP left. So, we're gonna need Vegito to like do some really good tanking here, because otherwise we might be screwed. Okay, so we get two attacks guaranteed. We might get the third attack as well. Get some more defense going. And we got the dodge. Okay, okay. <laughs> really lucked out there, guys. Really, really lucked out there. Holy crap, that was close. Um, obviously, now we're getting the fusions. So we're going to heal back right to full. It kind of sucks that we had both of them on the same rotation so that we only get to benefit one time from the heal. But um, it's cool. It's clutch, man. This is good. So now with all the counters, uh, he's definitely dead. There's no question about that. But that was like really, really scary, man. For the briefest of moments, for like the last like two minutes, maybe, maybe not even two minutes, maybe for like for the last like minute, I really thought we were gonna die. And I guess it's not bad because like we're not too far into it. But still, I did not expect to take that much damage this early. All right, please don't lock my Gogeta. Okay, so Gogeta's good. Um. Defensively, like this rotation should be just fine because we have 164k for my or for the friend Gohan. My Gohan has over 200k defense now, so it shouldn't be a big issue. It shouldn't be a big issue, but you never know. And it doesn't look like we're gonna get the 18 key super here with uh, our Gogeta, but that's okay. So let's see how well we can tank these now. Okay, so we're, we're tanking better. Was it just like Rose and Zamasu that did a lot of damage? Or maybe we hadn't stacked up enough defense at that point, but like I, I was not expecting to see 300k or almost 200k damage from a super, man. That's, that's a lot. And we're only halfway through the event. So I was like, at that point, I was, I was still taking it easy. But now we're gonna pay attention because we don't want to die. We definitely don't want to die. This super might hurt a lot. Oh, 70k is okay. 70k is okay. Alright, now it's time for a nice Dokkan attack. Who should I give it to? Um, I'm going to give it to Vegito. So we're going to end up doing a Dokkan attack with a 12 key super. But then, at the very least, he's not at a type disadvantage, with the which the int Vegito is, right? So I still think this is probably the best course of action and we also have a decent chance of getting a crit so if you get the crit then type disadvantage doesn't really matter we'll see we'll see all right it's so no crit but still 1.5 mil additional over 2 mil for the 12k super that's pretty good it's still going up though still stacking 
over 3 mil from Int Vegito. He is rainbowed. Actually, my Biz Gogeta only has... Actually, has no dupes. He's dupe, like free dupe. So I'm a little bit worried about him defensively. But... Uh, actually, we might just kill him with the crit count with the counters well I mean this this one's definitely gonna kill him okay so no cause for concern no cause for concern we're moving on to what Super Saiyan Blue Goku now yeah Super Saiyan Blue Goku and ooh, I totally forgot I totally forgot that Tech Super Saiyan 4 was on this team uh can I rely on him to dodge a super that's the main concern, right? If we get supered, if he doesn't dodge it, we're probably gonna die. So I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna trust him. Alright, I'm just gonna pray that we don't get hit by a super at the end. Both, uh, both the LR Gohan and the Gogeta can survive supers, no problem. But it's just the Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, like, this is gonna be okay. This is totally fine. 35 damage. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Holy crap! 5 million attack effective against all twos. This is going to do a lot of damage, guys. Yeah, 2.8 mil. A million for the additional. No third additional or second additional, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, let's see how much this does now. Let's see how much this does. Because I know it's going to be normal attacks, but even with a normal attack, I just. Ooh, double super. Nice. So this guy heard me chirping him, making fun of him. So he's like, yo, let me show you what I can do. Let me show you what I can do. Okay. So normal attacks. 25. Okay, 25k. That's fine. We're okay with that. Now we can actually pop the active skill, but I'm gonna save that. Definitely gonna save that. Um or should I put my own my Gohan here? And then put the Yeah, I don't really know how to play this one, man. Cause I wanna keep everybody in rotation. Like I wanna keep the Gohan for defense. I wanna keep the Int Vegito for counters, but I also want to just keep the um, Tech Vegito just because he's dope and he also, of course a lot of damage too. So, you know, it's a tough decision, but I think I'm gonna take the Int Vegito out of rotation for now. I don't even know what the types of the future enemies are actually. Like, I don't know what um, the... Is there gonna be a Vegito Blue after? The Vegito Blue, I don't know what type he is. I don't know what the Rosé I think we're fighting is going to be. There's also a Trunks I believe we're fighting. Actually, maybe there's no Rosé. I should have looked this up beforehand, but I didn't. So now it's too late. We're just going to go with the flow. See what happens. Um, Gogeta has 154 defense. 154. 154,000 defense. So he's not really a concern. Um, wait, hold, hold on. How come... How come when we link him up with just... The Gohan, his attack goes higher. I don't understand what's going on here. What is going on here? Did you guys get it? Because when I when I put him in the middle and they came up with Gohan and the uh, Fizz Gogeta, his attack is, a, is 486,000. But if I link him up with just the Gohan, it's 503,000. That's kind of weird. Um, I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation that I'm just not thinking of right now. So don't mind me. Um, okay, so we're gonna put Gohan here. We're gonna give all these. Actually, I kind of want to give these to. No, I'm sure we'll be okay. I give these to STR Gogeta, and then we can still get a super off with uh, his Gogeta too. So everybody supering, everybody eats. We're still doing okay. A uh, little bit concerned about the Fizz Gogeta at the end. I think supers will do quite a bit. Actually, if this guy's getting supered, we're okay. I actually love this animation though. This animation is really nice. 12k, we got the stun, but who cares? We already attacked, so we should be unstunned next turn, I believe. Um, 5.4 mil, 3.4 mil damage. And, okay, we got the second additional, but it was a normal attack. But still, um, Trunks and Mai are, are almost dead. And yeah, this team is way too OP. I don't, I don't see an event that this team cannot beat. Like, with the uh, Legendary Goku event, um, or this one, or any uh, obviously any Dokkan event, or Super Battle Road, like, there's just no reason we shouldn't completely destroy them with this team. Okay, so the question now, again, is should we keep Gohan in rotation? And I'm gonna say... I probably should, actually. I probably should. 
yeah, we're, we're gonna keep Gohan in rotation because I don't know what the types for the upcoming enemies are. So just be safe. Um, obviously, neither the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or the Vegito Blue's defense is like really, really good right now. I mean, the Gogeta, the, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta never gets good defensively. So yeah, I'm gonna be safe and go with this. We're gonna keep both Gohans in rotation for the rest of the fight. Um, oh, we have we have the Merge Zamasu here. He's an AGL type, so we gotta be a little bit careful now. We gotta be a little bit careful now with the Gogeta. So we'll give these to Gohan. We'll give these to Gogeta. That's not gonna do a lot of damage, is it? I mean, it's, it's still gonna be good damage. It's still gonna be good damage. I feel like I probably should should have popped an item, but. We're gonna, we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it. 3.7 mil tanking like madness. So I don't have to really worry about Gohan at all. Anywhere I put Gohan, he's basically like tech golden Frieza because he just does not take damage anymore. Um, but yeah, four for the, but Gogeta blue, I'm still a little bit worried. But at least, yo, at least we're getting supered constantly on the units we want to get supered. You know what I mean? Like sometimes in these runs or super battle road or something like that, you always get supered on the unit that you don't want to be supered. But in this case, we're, we're, we're getting blessed. We're getting lucky. That still did quite a bit of damage. Yeah, even these additionals, man. Still doing half a mil to a mil. Uh, damn, man, we're still tanking double to triple digit with type disadvantage as well. Oh, okay. So maybe my concern was not really necessary, man. Because look at all these guys just putting in the work. To be fair, uh, all three of these on rotation are rainbowed. So I don't know. I don't really know why I was that concerned in the first place. Um, but yeah, there was definitely no reason to be concerned at all. And now Vegito Blue should finish the job for Samasu. Very appropriate, actually. Very appropriate. Um, oh, he's going to heal gonna heal and he's gonna super us what's this gonna do 110k okay yeah so Vegeta Blue hasn't stacked up yet uh, we barely got to attack with him actually since he transformed I'm not really surprised there I'm a little bit surprised but not 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 the most surprised and this should do it and is this the last boss now or is, no it's Vegito Blue right yeah Vegito Blue and then Trunks Vegito Blue and then Trunks all right guys so Oh god, um, Super Saiyan 4 is back, <laughs> so I, I know Gohan's fine there, but, man, do I have to take my Gogeta out of rotation just to be super safe? I think so, I think so, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put Super Saiyan 4 in the middle, just gotta hide him, it's uh, really not ideal to take him out obviously, but it's just too risky to leave him in the front or the end. So yeah, there's just too many attacks, man. There's way too many attacks at the end to leave him there and just feel safe. Even if, even if I popped like a Princess Snake, I feel like we would we would have just been taken out with uh, regular attacks. Even like normal attacks probably would have taken us out. So yeah, it's just not worth it. Oh, we can dodge. Yeah, look at that 71k. Yeah, I didn't realize he could dodge. Well, at least he is not dodging this one, which is going to do a good amount of damage. And an additional 3.8 mil. Okay, I see you. Unfortunately, he's going to be gone for a couple of couple turns, which is really sad. The 4 mil additional again. So almost like, what, 12 million attack there if you combine the three supers. And okay, so we're good. We're good here. Yeah, we're taking all these for double digit. Is this going to do a lot? 76k that's okay that's okay all right now what should we do here so the gohan has 326k not a big concern um i'm actually gonna put vegeto at the end i think i'm yeah i think i'm gonna leave him there and i'm gonna pop a princess snake so we can heal up a little bit and we'll, we're still gonna have four items left for the final stage so i think we'll be safe i think we'll be safe so those go to Gohan, these go to, ooh, you know what, I'm gonna give these to Vegito since like, the super's not gonna do the most damage anyways, I'm mostly, like I mostly need him for the counters, uh, so it should be okay, 
Um, Gohan still doing his thing. Like I said, man, neither of these Gohans are going to be taking damage for the rest of the uh, run. So they're like my fail saves, you know, like they're the ones that I know I can trust. But everybody else, except maybe like STR Gogeta Blue, who is super, super tanky now as well. Everybody else um, I need to be careful with. Like even, even Vegito, uh, Fizz Vegito, or uh, Int Vegito, I need to be a little bit careful with. Of course, we have type advantage here, so it's not as big of a concern. But for the next stage, for sure. And then, oh, dude, come on. He's gonna dodge the Ultra Super, but that is hit with the normal. <sighs> all right, all right. So Super Saiyan 4 is back. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have brought him. I didn't. I didn't realize he was on this team before I started. To be honest, I should have brought someone else for sure. But as long as we don't get super at the end, then everybody else should be okay. You know, what? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pop this. Uh, I'm gonna pop this Aider. I'm gonna pop the Aider, just uh, so we have some extra defense, of course. So yeah, 690k for 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 Gohan. That's crazy. And yeah, it. Should be okay after that. With Aider active, we have enough defense, I think, in the middle to survive a super. And then of course with um <laughs> with, with with Tech Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, it's just a question of whether or not he dodges that that super or counters that super if we get hit with a super. So please don't dodge this. Please don't dodge this. Thank you. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. We're moving on. To the future trunks now which should be the final boss of this run um or this this stage this new stage he is a fizz type Ooh, interesting a little scary because of our int vegeto at the end um he does have a crazy amount of defense though 260k now um so i don't think i need to be too concerned about him Although I definitely shouldn't take it easy either. So let's see what happens. Obviously, Gohan's fine. I'm getting supered here, which is amazing. This is definitely where you want to be supered. It's gonna do like five damage. My bad, 108, 18, 118. That's actually quite a lot more than I thought it would do. <laughs> but either way, that's that's basically no damage. Uh, 1.7 mil crit, that's what I like to see. 4 million super here. We, we haven't been able to get the 18k super off, which uh, is kind of rough. Oh, I, I forgot I didn't even use the active skills yet, so we're definitely going to pop the active skill for STR Gogeta once it becomes available next turn, because Trunks is not at 50% HP yet, right? But next turn he'll definitely be at 50%, if, if not dead. So if we get the chance, we should end it off with a STR Gogeta super for sure. Uh, did I say super? I meant to say active skill. But before that, let's actually pop the uh, tech Vegito Blues active skill first. Here we go. Enjoy the beautiful animation, my friends. It is absolutely glorious. One of the best animations in the game. I still think Gogeta's is better, but this is right up there with uh, the best animations that we've ever seen from this game. No question. Give me a crit. No crit? Okay. Okay. Now, just to not take any risks, I'm gonna pop in Prince of Snake. I know we already have, um, you know, we already have full HP basically, but you can never be too safe. I really don't think you can be too safe. So we're gonna give uh, these two Gohan, these two Vegito, and wow, no super. No super for Gogeta. But with the Princess Snake, I think we'll still be okay defensively, right? I'll be okay, right? Wait, is Trunks the final boss? If Trunks is not the final boss, I'm gonna be pissed, man. I'm gonna be so mad if Trunks is not the final boss and I use like all my items, because I'm gonna be screwed for whatever the final boss is. Trunks has gotta be the final boss. I think I saw he was the final boss. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna do it, guys. 
We're not even gonna have a chance to pop that Gogeta active skill. That's kind of unfortunate. At least, at least we got to see Vegito. At least we got to see Vegito. But sadly, no Gogeta active skill. I apologize. I mean, you can go find it online, or if you have the unit yourself, you can use it, of course, in an event. I really wanted to feature it in this video. But sadly, our team is too good, and we killed them too fast. So there you go, guys. There you go. Um, I honestly think the Zamasu uh, fight, the Merge Zamasu fight, the second last one was actually quite a bit harder than the Trunks fight. That's just me. But there you go. We got our one stone, and we should get a few more from missions as well. So let's see how many we can how many we can collect here. Um, yeah, that's a good amount of stones. How many? Twenty five. I love it. I probably could have gotten a few more if I actually brought like, what is it, Future Saga units or something like that? I didn't really look too much into it, but I was like, I'm definitely going to bring Kamehameha for the first run, just to guarantee that victory. So we got a guaranteed victory. Now I'm probably going to jump back in and try it with my uh, Future Saga team, which is coming together. I mean, actually, no, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. This team might be able to do it. We'll have to see. Um, but this is the best I can do, so uh, maybe I'll come back with another video trying it out with this team. But for now, we did it with the Kamehameha team. I know, not really that impressive considering how just insanely OP this team is, but at least we got it done, and that's all that matters right now. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.